Hey everyone, how's it going? In this video, let's have a look at the Droid on Time Room version 5.1.3 on LG V30. And this is based on Android 11 and it also has the August security patch level. So let's get started. First of all, here is the launcher, as you can see here. And you have a few home settings, like you can change the icon pack here. You can change the icon size even. Notification dots and some of the options as you can see at a glance double tap gesture hidden apps where you can hide apps from the door and you can even set a gesture to swipe down to clear all recents and i haven't installed google apps so this option is disabled do note that this does not come with google apps so you'll have to flash google apps separately and i am using nick z apps core and here are the system settings and here are some of the gesture settings as you can see here you can quickly open the camera and here are the navigation gesture options and one thing i did not like is that you cannot customize the height that you want to be seen using as the back gesture so even if i press from the top of the screen it goes back which interferes with third party apps that's why i'm using the three button navigation and here are the power menu options and nothing much here except for the status bar tuner and as you can see here you can hide some stuff do note that there is a volte icon here but volte does not work on this room or any osp room for the lgv30 and as you can see this option didn't exactly work that's because this option is hidden in another setting now let's move up and here you have display options where you can customize whether you want to enable or disable the dark theme and you even have live display options you can calibrate colors to your choosing and you have styles and wallpapers options and you can customize it to your liking as you can see here so as you can see here you have a few font options here and icon options color options and you can even choose the icon shape and then you can basically create your own custom design and from here under lock screen settings you will find an always on display option and next you have some theming options as you can see here and you can change the icon shape as you can see here it changed looks kind of ugly but you can set it to what you like and this room also have hi-fi quad back option and that works pretty nicely but do know that it does not work as well as custom rooms but it works as good as it can work on a custom room but it does not work as good as stock room now let's move back and there might be another setting hidden under accessibility settings so let me just show it to you and as you can see here there are a few customization options for your vibration as well that you can find under accessibility settings and as for the customization you can change the wallpaper here you can even customize always on display that kind of stuff edge lighting animation for lock screen as you can see here and you have status bar customizations so as you can see here I enabled the battery percentage and it got enabled so as you can see here there are a few options here AM PM show clock clock position as you can see here I can change the clock position but I like it on the left and you can even enable traffic settings and customize that now let's move on and the quick setting options you have some stuff you can have data usage listed up there as you can see only I have used 3.1 KB and you have some options to customize the number of rows and columns so I have just max it out so it looks weird 
and here you have app lock feature which is pretty cool so you can basically lock your apps and here are, is the lab where you have some color palette options so you can mess around with that you have clock face options and as you can see here there are quite a few options here so basically this is for the lock screen and the AOD and you can make some changes to the volume buttons as you can see here several options are here and here you have theming options again so let me just make it square now as you can see it has become square and you can customize the launcher grid and that kind of stuff here and here are a few more settings like enabling torch brightness control double tap to sleep or you know double tap to doze so all sorts of options are here and here you have some security options you can enable using fingerprint on reboot and you have music visualizer and advanced reboot section here so if I go to advanced I'll get all these options so that's pretty cool and that's pretty much it for this video so if you like to click on the like button and also subscribe to my channel for more such videos and I have listed down all the bugs that are present in the description uh, that's there in the link but I'll list out a few of them here so basically on some Google cameras G cams you do not have video recording and video recording issues are present there and apart from that location bug was present on previous rooms but that has been fixed here so that's good and apart from that obviously no VoLTE or VO Wi-Fi that we have already covered and you may need to customize your APN settings so make sure that you check what are your APN settings on stock or just check from a friend on your same network in the same region what kind of APN settings do you need so you can use those if you have network connectivity issues that is quite important and apart from that you cannot really change AOD brightness so it remains fixed no matter whether it's night or you're in the sunlight and that kind of stuff has been lifted down below in the bugs and FAQ section so go check that out thank you for watching I'll see you in my next video bye bye